bothered about what happens to this vessel when I die. I don't mean the pod. I promise that to the donkey sanctuary. I mean my body. Cremate me, wrap me in a builder's sheet and float me out to sea, or stuff me and put me in a museum is a prime example of 21st century man. I don't care. But I am worried about what's going to become of my computers, gadgets and online accounts. So, I would like to appoint one of you to go around my house and do a quick hard drive format and reinstall of the operating system on my PC. There's nothing bad on it, nothing that really needs hiding, but there are several files it's probably best for my grieving relatives not to open. To be very clear, they are life drawing reference models. I like to paint. I just haven't got around to buying a paintbrush. I need some boring paints yet. For similar reasons, could you, without looking, just do a quick delete all on my webcam and digital camera, just in case? Don't worry, I've not done a Leslie Grantham or anything, but I have a vague memory of getting a bit carried away with the twirl and stretch effects in Photo Booth when I first got it. And could someone please sign me up to Twitter and tweet, In your face, Tony, I'm dead and I never tweeted. You were so wrong. Because that would help me win a bet I have with my friend Tony from beyond the grave. And then could someone take the fiver off him and bury it with me? I know what he's like. Also, I'll need someone to explain to my close relatives that a lot of the music on my MP3 player is ironic. All those Bross and Jason Donovan tracks were downloaded for an 80s-themed party. Not because I like them. Please ensure my laptop and mobile are fully charged and buried or cremated alongside me. This is getting genuinely moving. But do, because I'm not a huge believer in the afterlife, but just on the off chance there's incredibly fast free Wi-Fi in heaven, I would like to be able to take advantage of it. Eternity would really drag on without the net. I quite fancy arranging someone to post photos of my funeral on Facebook. This is Auntie Maud, crying. This is Uncle Eric. This is my second cousin Jeff, smiling and giving a thumbs up. Not because he hated me, that's just his automatic reaction to his photo being taken. And that's about all, I think. There's no ink left in my printer, so I just bin it. The cartridge ran out the weekend I bought the thing. Um, my cables bag is in the cupboard under the stairs. If anyone needs a USB lead, a broken mouse, 12 extension leads, or four broken scar to scar connectors, help yourself. Actually, it could be a relief not having to worry about where all my charges are. See you later. It's nice to think of the donkeys running around here when I'm gone. Well, the hooves will make a racket.